Now, this video is not going to be a tutorial, it's just showing how I use GIMP and how I make thumbnails. So throughout the video, I keep saying that this video is going to be a tutorial, so I really do apologize if I keep saying that. And plus I had a few people over, so I had to lower my voice, and I pretty much sound like a robot for the first 8 minutes, because I kid you not, I was reading off a script. Not really a script, but just almost like a little tutorial I had in in mind that I made at I made in Google Drive but anyways guys I hope you guys do enjoy for the first eight minutes I sound like a robot but throughout throughout the rest I am myself so hope you guys do enjoy hit that like button if it does help you and see you soon what is going on ladies and stealthmen my name is stealth fang and I'm here bringing you guys a tutorial based on GIMP and how I make my thumbnails and how I have been making my thumbnails in the last year and a half so I decided for this 1000 subscribers special why not I just help you guys out if you are starting out a gaming channel or if you want to know how I make my thumbnails or how you want to create your own thumbnails of your own. And just to clarify things, this tutorial is going to be based on gaming videos or like let's say let's play videos for thumbnails. So if you are somebody who does like some other sort of topic genre or subjects on YouTube, I, I'll, I will be going over like the basic structure of how a thumbnail what a thumbnail should be showing when you're making your thumbnail in GIMP but anyways guys make sure to hit that like button if you guys do enjoy and also if you are a new viewer please be sure to subscribe if this does help you out so let's get started right now and let's begin alright so you're gonna want to go ahead to GIMP www.gimp.org slash download slash or backslash and right now here if you head over here, you'll see that there's GNU Linux, OS X, Microsoft Windows, or all. So if you have Windows, you want to go and click Microsoft Windows and then download here through the through it directly. I haven't tried BitTorrent, but I recommend just hitting directly because I'm not sure what BitTorrent does. Well, it says right here, so I guess you can read it when you get there. But OS X is for Mac Mac users. I don't know how it works. When it comes to installing files on Macs, it might be the same thing, but I do apologize if you are a Mac user and you want to use GIMP. I do not know how to install it or how, how it will work. I'm guessing it's the same thing. But anyways, so right after you finish installing it, for, make sure to run it and then open it. So now right here, you're over here and you don't know what to do. You have a blank canvas. Hold on. Oh wait, hold on. First, you want to start off and make new 1280 by 720 this is typically what YouTube thumbnail videos should be YouTube thumbnails uh, the size this is generally what it should be you wouldn't really do 1920 by 1080p but I've tried that it's pretty much the same thing maybe a slight difference in quality like a little bit of higher quality but I'd recommend 1280 by 720p just so you can save space I guess and right now let's move on my subject or topic, subject or topic is like your game, or if you're doing gaming, subject or topic is going to be um, the game you're doing. So my subject is going to be Shantae, Half Genie Hero. Even though the game is not out, I wanted to go ahead and just make thumbnails just in case um, I did that in the future. So who knows, I could do that in the future uh, for you guys on the channel. Anyways, let's go on and let's get started. So now, the best key to making thumbnails is that you gotta make something simple. You also gotta think of something simple. Like, if you look on my other, uh, I don't have it on right now. I don't have my hard drive on right now, my external hard drive. But if you've seen my uh, current Let's Plays, One Piece Pirate Wars 3 or Pokemon Leaf Green, I sort of overcomplicate the way the thumbnail should look and on average, I kid you not, when I start making thumbnails for a new series, I kid you not guys, it literally takes me two hours to finish the thumbnails or just make a thumbnail because I want to make it perfect and I want to make it creative. I'm just that type of person. But let's go. Like I said, my new idea or my current idea is going to be Shantae Have Genie Hero thumbnail. So let's go. So now. For any thumbnail, you want to have a good background image, a number displaying the episode or part, so the viewers know what the video is if they didn't see the title, and a good logo. So now that's pretty much a good basic start for any thumbnail for any gaming video, which has like sequential parts. So now, or you can just choose another idea, just like a plain background with either gameplay footage or just a screenshot of um, a wallpaper or any game. 
and just put up part one, part two, or just a number one or number two. Anything is good as long as it's simple and attracting too. That's the number one key. So let's go out with layouts and style. So let's go ahead and I have the folders open over here. So we're going to go ahead and drag in this background over here. And there we go. And now that's the background we need. And we also need Shantae. So I think, I believe, let's check. Yeah, it was this one. All right. So we're going to go drag this one. Nice. And then we're going to go ahead and drag the logo, the title or logo. These are the three main things you're going to need when you're doing any sort of gaming video or gaming thumbnail. So look, looks like I'm going to have to resize this because it's huge. So let's go ahead. Oh, actually, hold on. I should be going over the key tools too. So now if you look over here, you're going to go to your scale tool. If it's too big or too small, you can go to your scale tool. I recommend if you have a small image and you want to scale it up, I'd recommend doing your best to find a larger version of it too, because if you don't, if you can't find a larger version, then your the quality of the image is going to look really blurry or it's going to look really poor. So it really won't help at all. Now you want to go to your move tool right here and then you want to click move the active layer. If you choose pick layer or guide, it'll just go to like which layer your arrows um, currently on. So I can just do, let's say I want to move this, it'll move the Shantae around. But if I move this, it'll move the background around. Pretty much the same thing if like, let's say I do this. See, it looks like I'm clicking Shantae over there, that little shadow, but it's really not. I'm, it's clicking the background, but if you do this, then you see, should be moving. Oh, actually, oh yeah, it's moving the logo, see? It's moving the active layer right now. But anyways, so now you have your logo, you have Shantae, or your subject, your main subject, and then you have your background. All right, so now let's go ahead and get started with the layouts and styles. So typically, you want to go and have your logo either up here in the main corner of here let me just scale this down a little bit more there we go sorry if I do ramble on a little bit and then you want to have it, your logo either up here in the middle on the top over here I don't really recommend it on the bottom over here it's rare that you'll ever see a thumbnail a thumbnail with a logo on the bottom over here like just the bottom right here these two bottom the middle bottom and then the right corner rarely will you ever see it and then you can put it over here but it's all up to you you also want to make you want to make it simple and it's also up to you no thumbnail is wrong but anyway see so I'm gonna make mine right hmm. you know I'll make mine straight in the middle make mine dead in the middle and then we want to make Shantae so now your subject hold on hold on let me get rid of this logo over here if you want to if you want to select anything like you go to the select tool over here or the rectangle select tool you go click it and then you go like this and then hit all right so you know I apologize if you guys are noticing that all of a sudden these guys are over here and you see some shadows on the sides of the characters over here and a little bit of strokes on the logo over here I really do apologize apparently Merlis action if you look on the bottom right here decided to do something funny and I it basically skipped all that but thank I'm really glad that I can like control why or redo this but anyways let me go um, right through it step by step so uh, let me go over here so now you want to go <laughs> geez I really do apologize this is so weird I'll go over, I'll even make a video on how I record my videos and the best effective ways and things not to do. And I made a huge mistake when I was recording this. But anyways, you want to go ahead and have your background over here. And now you want to add something or spice it up. You can either add like a little gradient over here. And you can add another gradient over here. And then I just went ahead and moved that to the back over there. And then if I keep going further, I believe, oh yeah. Now here, you want to go ahead and add your text over here. So now the text is what is going to be showing the viewer or, you know, your subscriber, what's going to be what that video is. If you have like sequential parts of your video or if you're um, having a video notifying your subscribers about something in this game or whatever you're doing or whatever the thumbnail 
is supposed to be showing so that they have it there you want to either make it square in the middle sometimes in the corners or it can instead of just being part one it can just be one or episode one it depends on what it is and it's also up to you guys and so if we keep going on i resize it a little bit and i also do men did mention i'm like i'm skipping through right now so this is pretty much real time but i also do mention that if your text is small you want to do something that makes it stand out or pop out a little bit more so that the viewers can see it e easily and immediately you don't want to make it like super small and have like no detail whatsoever so i did a, like a little small gradient over there and then if i keep going through i added a little bit more gradient no not gradient i added a little bit more of a stroke on the white over there and if we keep on going i mentioned hold on Jeez, this is weird oh yeah here's another uh thing i uh, was talking about the popping of the text so i'm gonna go ahead and add a little like um half circle over there so the pop the text pops out on that so that the viewers can see it or anybody who's passing by can see it and then i moved these guys up because bolo's face was being blocked by the red part and so now that i have these i want to go ahead and like add something else i want to add a little border to what is going on and i'm pretty sure that the video is gonna um uh continue on to that part i don't know if i went ahead in this part right now but i'm gonna go ahead and end it off end it off here with my voice of this skipping through but the video is gonna take off so take off stealth in the future and then right after I call this logo, I'm going to go ahead, ahead and drag these in. There we go. All right. So then right after I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and oop, for, almost forgot about that. So see, you have the whole layer. Same thing over here. It makes things way simpler. And then I'm going to go ahead and call this maybe subjects, subjects, or just like the main guys over there. So we're going to call uh, and put these guys over here and then right after I think it ah, you know I don't know see this is I really do apologize for like stopping like this it's just weird hmm you know what I could probably leave these or just you know what let me call them backgrounds backgrounds there we go all right and we're just gonna whoopsie start from the bottom and then put it in all right sweet all right so we're almost done over here and I'm just gonna go ahead and add this over here and I want to make bolo st still be seen on um, over there so we're just gonna do this want to see if I can make it even as possible now we're gonna go ahead I want to take that color from this logo over here. Make it red. Sweet. All right. And then we're going to go I'll put this under text. Put the, yeah, I'll put this under text. So let me go over here. All right. And then we're going to go ahead and then select. And then see, it's obscuring Bolo's face. So it's not looking that cool, but I can raise it up, which is pretty cool. File. And then new, and then we're gonna go ahead and choose white. All right, drag this over here. Select none. Let me go ahead and move these guys up. There we go. Sweet. I should have gotten some Tinker Batch and put them on the side over here. It would have been. It would have looked really. It would have looked really good too. And then I think we're pretty much good for now. In fact, let me see, what can, else can I add? What else can I add? I can add, like right after I'm done touching things up, this is pretty much a basic thumbnail you have right here. But if it was up to me, I would go and do something like this. I'd go to the background down here, apple to selection, select shrink and I'll do by, let's say 10. Yeah, 10's a good number. I go select invert, and then I will do black and then I can do this black over there and then drag it all the way to the top so now I have like this cool black border over here 
for now. Ooh, it's looking pretty good, actually. Nice. This is looking pretty awesome and sweet. And let me go and make this red. And then I want the original color over here, too. So let me go grab that. There we go. Make it a little bit lighter. No, not over there. A little bit lighter. All right. Now with selection, and then we're gonna go ahead and gradient on this thing. Oh, nope. And up. And I think that's pretty cool. Come on. I think that's cool. I think that's good. I think that is pretty cool. Now the problem is this part one over here is almost blending in with the bottom right here and I don't like that. See like it looks like the text is over there. It could j yeah you know what? Ooh. Wow. Not bad. That's actually pretty cool. I'll leave that. See? Sometimes just moving things around sometimes it will look nice too. So I'm just going to go ahead and come over here. I'm going to go alpha to selection. I use this effect. I use this effect earlier on. You'll see um, later on. I used this effect um, earlier on, and it looked pretty cool. So I'm gonna go hide this layer. I'm gonna go by linear, and then no, not like that. I think this is good. Select none, and let's see. That is pretty cool. And now. For the final touch, it looks a little bit empty in the background over here. So what I'll do is I'll go and do this. Probably gonna add a little, a ch some checker effect, effects over there. So it looks nice. So I'm gonna go make this white over here. Filters. Should it be transparent? Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll uh, um, get rid of the red parts later on. But pattern, checker board. Then 30, let's check. 30, let's make it 31. 31's pretty good. No, I want it to be slightly bigger. Make the squares a little bit bigger. Let's go 50. Nice, yeah, 50 is good. 50 is awesome. Select none, and then we're going to go ahead and delete the red parts. Come on, come on. Nice. Red and go. Sweet. Select none. Then we're gonna go ahead of alpha to selection, hide this, and then go back to the gradient tool, and then we're gonna go do this and see how well that looks. I might make it no, I have blue on the bottom already, so I'm not even gonna like deal with that. So select none. And this is looking pretty cool, and I want to bring the opacity down because it looks a little bit too obvious. And plus, I want to see if, hmm, let me see. Oh yeah, I'm doing it all the way, so that's why I keep doing that. Let me do this. Alright, it's good. Select none. Then we'll bring this all the way to the bottom. And then, let's yeah, let's do that. Let's bring the opacity down a little bit. And there we go. In fact, ooh, I messed up. I messed up. I messed up horribly. This is the thing about doing something on the same layer. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me, I should, let me redo all that. Let me do redo all that. Control Y. I made it perfect, so I want to go Control C and Control Z. And then control V. Nice. Sweet. So I pretty much just went back in time and then took something from the future and then brought it back into the past. So hey, this is looking pretty awesome now. Hey, but I think we're pretty much finished. So I have my text over here. Hold on, let's select this. I have my text over here, my subjects over here. Shantae have genie here over here the logo and I have a cool swell background over here So we just went from like three basic things or maybe four basic things and just turned it into this so now I'm gonna show you guys Like some other things that I've done. I'm gonna show you guys some other thumbnails that I've done some other variants that 
like it doesn't always have to be like just this so here's another here's one I made earlier on see I didn't like like uh, like I told you I it was super fast so I didn't like go and name groups I only named like one group over here so I didn't like really touch up on pawn on that and then I think I'm yeah I made two more so here's another one a hey, see I need I made another one and then if you want to make a really simple thumbnail hold on uh, I think yeah I think I yeah I layered some of these I didn't lay the whole thing I even put my logo down here sometimes I do that depending on um, like the size of the uh, images too like if I put these over here like these little like diagonal things over there sometimes I'll do that and then this is a pretty simple one it's optional if you want to like some people do it and it's still fine as long as the thumbnail is simple easy to reuse and like you can always come back to it it's really good and it also uh, catches the viewers attention so just from these four designs like so I got design number one design number two design number three and I have design number four just these four are the same exact thing but with different designs so that's pretty much how I make thumbnails you guys so I hope you guys did enjoy and I guess that's pretty much it if this helped you or if you learned something from this or just wanted to know how I made my thumbnails ever since I started YouTube I guess it's pretty good too I used to start out like making the most simple thumbnails and then pretty much learn from other YouTube videos and pretty much I know how to do this so yeah I guess it's pretty cool Anyway, anyways guys I hope you guys did enjoy make sure to hit that like button if you guys did enjoy this whole video and this little thumbnail thing so until next time stealth out